guys doing today? Uh, I know I'm running a minute behind, a couple minutes, so I'm going to let you guys go ahead and take a second to log in and get started. And while we're doing that, I'm going to pull up the comments too on my phone so I can comment back to you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull up the live stream on our Hey Good Preschool Facebook page. Here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and say hi to you guys. If you want, say hi in the comments so I can say hi back to you. Hi, everyone. Happy Monday. Awesome. So I'm going to set that up so I can watch our comments as they come in. So how's everyone been doing? How's your week been going? Any fun things that you did? Of course I've been baking. That tends to be the fun thing around here. Well, and I think yesterday was beautiful. Who got to go outside yesterday and play outside? Good morning, Hunter. How are you? Good morning, Colton. Good morning, Miss Kathy. Good morning, Miss Patsy. How are all of you guys doing? It's so good to hear from all of you. I love it when you guys say hi. It's so nice to hear from each and every one of you. So I hope you guys were able to go outside some yesterday and enjoy the warm weather. Um, and one of the things that we do when we go outside is we see a lot of things, don't we? And what do we use to see things? Our eyes, that's right, we use our eyes to see things. So I wanna see, can you guys see some things around? You can look around your room at your house or you can look around my, this is my living room. You can look around my living room with me and see some of the things I have in here. So let's see. I have, I have a TV over here. There's a TV. There's a big mirror on the wall here. I have a bookcase with lots of books, some kid books down there at the bottom over here. And then if you see him over here in the corner, this is Batman. He likes to hang out in the living room. Bet you haven't seen him, but Batman's been in almost all the videos from this side because he normally hangs out on this side of the room. But I bet you never noticed him before. Have you? Hmm, maybe in my next video, see where Batman might be. He could be somewhere else. Now, this kind of happens to us a lot. We're looking at everything that's going around us that we sometimes miss things. Kind of like Batman over there. You probably missed that Batman's hanging out right there. And that's okay. That's what happened in our story today. So we're gonna go jump into our story. You guys ready? Now, I'm, we're gonna do the movements in our story today because there's a lot of movements in this one. So everyone go ahead and stand up, stand up nice and tall, and we're gonna tell our story. Now, this is continuing the story of Jesus, how he, remember, died on the cross, he was taken down, buried in a tomb, and a couple days later, he rose from the dead. And he was no longer in the tomb. Remember how last week we talked about that empty tomb and he wasn't there? Well, this week we're continuing that story. So this is after all of that had happened. It's the same day. And there were two people, two men walking down the road. So guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be walking. Because that's what we like to do in the Bible. We do a lot of walking. That's how they got to a lot of places. Everyone would walk from town to town. They didn't take cars or planes or trains or anything like that. They did a whole lot of walking. So let's go ahead and walk before we get started. Hold on a second. Good morning, Hunter. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, um, Miss Brenda. Good morning, Luna. Good morning, Ariella. Um, good morning, Kaylee. Good morning, Miss Wendy. Good morning, Miss Linda. How are you guys doing? So our people in the Bible, we're talking about the two men that are walking on the road called Emmaus. So let's start walking. And you're going to say that word with me. Emmaus. You guys ready? On the count of three, we're going to say it. One, two, three three, Emmaus. Good job, guys. That's a hard word. But they're walking on the road to Emmaus. And this is, you'll hear this word a lot in our Christian faith. We, we tell this story a lot because it's very important. So they're walking and they were talking about everything that had happened, all the sad things they had seen that happened to Jesus. So they were kind of sad as they were walking. You're going to have your sad face. And then a man appeared to them and asked them what they were talking about. And the two men told them everything that had happened. Now, here's the crazy part. That man that appeared, that was Jesus. Let me see you be surprised. <gasps> but those two men that are walking on the road to Emmaus did not know it's Jesus. So shake your head. They did not know it was Jesus. But they told him what had happened. And they all started walking together. And they walked and they talked for a long time. And when they finally got to the town, go ahead and stop. 
we finally got to the town. Whew, that was a long trip. So when they finally got to the town, G the man, who's Jesus, but remember, they didn't know it was Jesus, was going to continue on. And the two men said, wait, call him back, say, wait, come and have dinner with us. It's getting late. Let's see your watch. It's getting late and dark. So come and have dinner with us. So Jesus went and had dinner with the two men. And during, so let's set up our dinner. Get all your stuff out for dinner. And during dinner, Jesus took the bread, take the bread, and he broke the bread. Now remember, this is what we do in communion. And this is what Jesus did at the last supper he had with his disciples. He broke the bread in two and gave them the bread and the cup. So when he broke the bread in front of those two men, they knew that this was Jesus and they could see that it was him. And they were so happy. Let's see your happy faces. Oh, it's Jesus. But Jesus disappeared from them. He disappeared from sight. And so the two men decided that right then they're left and had to go tell the disciples everything that they had seen. So go run. They go to tell the disciples everything they had seen. Now, that you guys did awesome. You did so good. So, let's back it up and let's tell this story again. There's a lot of walking. So remember, we're back at the beginning. We're walking down the road to Emmaus. We're kind of sad. We're sad. Jesus has just died on the cross. And, this, and then he rose again. Or then he rose and there was no one in the tomb. And the tomb was empty. And we're just sad and confused. And we don't know what's going on. And a man appeared to you guys. So stop. And the man asked, what is going on? Why are you so upset? And the two men tell him all the things that have happened. And they start walking together. Start walking again. And they walk for a long time. And they walk and they talk about what's happened. And then that man, remember, who's that man? It's Jesus. But they don't know it's Jesus. So Jesus is talking to them too about the Bible and things that the old history had said. So they walk and talk for a long time. Whew, man, this is a long trip. And they finally get to town, so stop. And Jesus tries to head on a little bit further. But remember, they don't know it's Jesus. And so Jesus tries to head on just a little bit further. And the men say, wait, come back and have dinner with us. Call Jesus back. Come back and have dinner with us. It's getting late. And so the men go and they all, have, so Jesus agrees and they set up dinner, set up your dinner. And during dinner, Jesus takes the bread and he breaks the bread. And when he does this, those two men realize it's Jesus and they're so happy to see Jesus. Yes! But Jesus disappears from sight. And the two men know that they have to go tell the disciples everything they see. And they run to go tell the disciples. Good job, guys. Now, we haven't done it fast yet. Are you guys ready to go fast? I'm ready to go fast. Okay, here we go. On our marks. Get set. Go. We were Two men were walking along the road, and they were so sad because Jesus had just been crucified on the cross, buried in a tomb, and now the tomb is empty. Where did Jesus go? And all of a sudden, a man appeared to them. Now, this was Jesus, but they didn't know it was Jesus. And so Jesus is like, or the man was like, what is going on? Why are you so upset? And they told the man everything that had happened. And so the man, remember who's Jesus, but they didn't know it was Jesus, started walking along the road. So they're all walking along the road and they're talking about what happened. And they're talking about the history of the Bible and the prophecies. And they get to the town and they stop because they finally get to town. Whew, that was a long journey. And Jesus tries to go on a little bit further, but the, the two men say, wait, come back. Say, wait, come back. Have dinner with us. It's getting late. And you shouldn't travel anymore. So they all set up dinner. Set up your dinner. And during dinner, Jesus takes the bread and he breaks the bread. And the men are able to see that now that's Jesus. Be so excited, so happy. It's Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus. But Jesus disappears from sight. And the two men knew that they had to go tell the disciples what they had seen. And so they run to go tell the disciples. Woo, good job, guys. You all did awesome. Good morning, Connor. Good morning, Miss Brenda. Good morning, Henry. Um, it's so good to see all you guys on here watching. You guys did so awesome with the story. So, one of the things that we use a lot of times to see are some binoculars. So I made some binoculars here. Cause you know, a lot of times, like in our story, it's hard to see things. So those men couldn't tell that it was Jesus. Just like some of you may have missed Batman over here in the corner. He's down there, there he is. 
last time he was over here, just to give you a heads up. If you want to look in other videos, that's where he was. But we didn't always see Batman, and we don't always see Jesus. A lot of times we get so caught up in what's going on around us, like the two men were. They were so sad on that road that Jesus had died on the cross and was buried in the tomb, but the tomb was empty. They were so sad and confused that they're kind of missing what's going on, that Jesus showed up and was right there with them, walking with them. And I know right now we're doing a lot of crazy stuff, a lot of different things, things that are not normal. And we might be looking around like, where's Jesus? Like, where is he? This stuff is crazy. Where did he go? But you know, it's times like these that he's walking with us. And even though we can't always see him and we can't always feel him, he's always there with us. Just like those two men. They didn't know it was Jesus, but he was with them the whole time on the road and was with them during dinner and was able to teach and help them. And that's how it is with us. So if you're ever sitting there going, where's Jesus? No, he's always there. He's always right beside you. He's always helping you, loving you, and getting you through everything, even crazy things like this. So, one of the things that helps us see, like I said, I have some binoculars here. Have you guys ever used binoculars before? They help you see. They kind of help you zone in on stuff. So, I can see Batman. Oh, I have a cross over here. I can see my Jesus cross up there. They help you see all kinds of things. So, today, we're going to make some binoculars so that way we can see the things around us. See Jesus? We can see all the things around us. And when we're having a hard time finding stuff, we can use our binoculars to find them. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and turn to God in prayer. So let me see your prayer hands. Okay, you guys ready? Let's put your prayer hands up. Okay, we're going to go fast because we began fast. We're going to go fast again. Here we go. Oh, good morning, Kenley. How are you? On our marks. Get set. Go. Open and close them. Open and close them. Give a little clap. Open and close them. Open and close them. Fold them in your lap. Okay, repeat after me, guys. Dear God, Thank you so much for your son, Jesus, who is with us even when we can't see him. Help us to always be faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, great job, guys. You guys did awesome today. So what we're going to make today are some binoculars. <clears throat> this is pretty simple. All you'll need is two toilet paper rolls, or this one was actually done out of a paper towel roll that I cut in half. So you could use either or that you'd like and go ahead and make them. So um, I did it really simple. I just took my, oh, so you're going to need the two toilet paper rolls. You're going to need some tape to tape them together. I used packing tape just because I thought that was easier and would stand better. And either some markers or some crayons or even some stickers to decorate your um, binoculars. I did stickers this time. I know I've been using markers, but I had a boatload of stickers, so I just kind of stickered mine up, and I really, really actually like them stickered. So we're going to do stickers with mine today. So what you're going to do first, you're going to take your two toilet paper tubes, and you're going to tape them together. You can put something in the center if you want for like a nose piece, but I just taped mine together just to make it easy. So you'll take your packing tape or you can use scotch tape or whatever kind of tape you want to use. And you can, um, sorry, I'm sliding my tape over. Uh, you can pack up your, or wrap, tape up your binoculars. I think tape's easier. You can also glue, but glue takes time to dry. So that's where I was like, I'm just going to go with tape. So I just kind of wrap the tape around them a few times. I start on the table so I can get them kind of solid. And then I just wrap the packing tape around them a few times so they stay together. Okay, now I'm just going to cut that. So, now I have my binoculars. So this is the base and you can see through them. I can see my eyes. I see you guys. And now you can decorate them however you want. I went ahead and decorated mine with stickers. Like I said, I was really enjoying stickers. So I just used all kinds of leftover stickers I have. These are like scrapbooking sheets. These are from some kit or something. These are from some Easter eggs. So any stickers that you have at your house will work. 
to decorate it. So I'm gonna wrap some stickers around mine. I like putting them around the center, covering up the tape. Um, you can use markers too to draw on it, crayons. Um, you can glue stuff to them, whatever you'd like to do. I'm just gonna put some of these cute little, I have birds and these are hedgehogs. I'm just kind of wrapping, see wrapping my stickers around here. Let's see, what else? Ooh, gotta put a rainbow on there. Oh, this one says, so I got my rainbow. Let's see, I'm gonna put my rainbow up here at the top. And my sticker right here says, oh, happy day, Jesus lives. We definitely have to put this on our binoculars. So let's put that one on here. I'm gonna put that one right center on the top. Look at that. Oh, happy day, Jesus lives right there in the middle. I love it. Okay, let's see what other stickers I have over here. We should probably put a Trolls on there too, why not? So I'm gonna put Poppy from Trolls. She'll hang out over here. And let's see, what else do I have over here? Oh, there's an owl. Let's put an owl on there. Put an owl on this side. And you can decorate the whole thing, get it completely covered. You can do partially. I'm gonna add a few more stickers and I'm gonna show you mine. Okay, so here are my last stickers that I'm adding. And now I can see. Here are my binoculars. They're all decorated. I just used stickers and now I can see things all around. And maybe next time I'll catch Batman and see where he's hiding around. Um, you guys can also draw on them. You can do anything you want. You can add strings so they hang down. I didn't have any yarn with me. I'm trying to use things that we have around the house so that way it's easy for parents to be able to recreate the crafts. Just things you find around your house. So I didn't have yarn, so mine doesn't have yarn on it. But you could also put some yarn so it hangs from the kids' necks and they have their binoculars. I hope you guys can find some things cool around your house. Take some pictures and post them of the binoculars that you create or some of the fun things that you're able to find. I miss you guys so much and I can't wait till we can meet again in person. But for right now, we'll see you next Monday at 9.15 here on Chapel Time on the Hagen Preschool Facebook page. Thanks, bye guys, have a great week.